Oh, hey, Gauchos. I didn't see you there. Uh, it's Marv. Welcome to another episode of Gaucho TV. You're probably wondering what I'm doing here in my storage unit. Uh, well, I'm, I'm digging out my Christmas ornaments. Uh, you know, because Christmas is coming, right? Hadn't you heard? You, you, you hadn't heard Christmas is coming? Yeah, okay, so you're telling me it's mid-July. That's fine, but apparently you're not familiar with Christmas creep. Dun, dun, dun. That's a good sound effect. Yeah, so Christmas creep. I talked about this last year on Gaucho TV just a little bit, but that was like in September, October, when, you know, we're coming up on the fourth quarter and it's actually maybe time for Christmas to come out, although I was a little creeped out by Christmas stuff being out before Halloween stuff. And at some places I was seeing Christmas stuff out with, like, Halloween stuff side by side. Is that weird? Yes, it is. So if you haven't heard the term Christmas creep before, it, a lot of blogs, uh, particularly consumer blogs, use it to talk about how uh, Christmas merchandise is becoming available earlier and earlier every year. And eventually, at this rate, pretty soon Christmas is going to lap itself, and Christmas stuff won't come out until right after Christmas. Which seems weird, right? So the blogs have already started reporting that Christmas creep is starting to appear. I'm seeing this at different places around the net. Uh, now, the first place that it was was Hobby Lobby had r Christmas wreaths last month. Now, I'm willing to forgive that a little bit because Hobby Lobby and Michaels and places like that, okay, they're, you do projects pretty far out. Christmas in July, uh, you're exactly six months out from Christmas, so maybe now is a good time for a Christmas project that you want to have done that's really ambitious. So, okay, grain of salt with Hobby Lobby. That's fine. But last September, like September 2009, Kroger grocery stores started playing Christmas music, and there were reports of that all over the country. September, right? So, right at Labor Day, they switched over to Christmas music. Labor Day. And then this, the Macy's in New York, the flagship Macy's, the one that all the other Macy's follow, that New York City Macy's store has already started advertising that Santa's on his way. Santa! Santa. It's a hundred degrees in New York. I have friends calling me complaining about how hot it is in New York. They've got to go to one of those centers to cool off. they got to go to Macy's to cool off. Macy's, they're going to Macy's to get out of the heat to see that Santa's coming soon. Do you not see the cognitive dissonance here? So this was the straw that broke the camel's back. This is the reason I'm talking about this this week. A Sears in Missouri already has a small but complete Christmas gift display out. A bunch of blogs have reported people have taken pictures of it. You can see pictures on the internet of this Sears in Missouri that's already selling plush stuffed Christmas themed animals with scarves and hats. And it's hot in Missouri. I've been there. It's humid too. It's not just hot. It's humid. It's not the heat of Missouri. It's the humidity that you've got to worry about. And the people of Missouri, obviously. Just kidding. Just kidding, people of Missouri. Little joke. So anyway, I figured I might as well get my Christmas ornaments out. I might as well put my Christmas tree up. I might as well put, grab my Festivus pole. Yeah, forget I said that. Just forget I said that. That was bad. I'll let it this part out. It'll be fine. So if you've seen evidence of Christmas creep in your area at a grocery store, a department store, or your local mall, take a picture. Put it here on the blog. Let me know. Let's tell the world about Christmas creep. And let's put Christmas at least after Labor Day. If we can't have it after Halloween, at least after Labor Day. It's still summer. Like, it's still legitimately summer on the calendar. Look at any calendar. Look at this calendar. It's not even Labor Day yet. People are wearing bikinis. Katy Perry is wearing a Daisy Dukes and bikini on top. California girls. Although it might actually be a good time to get deals on Christmas gifts, but you shouldn't have to listen to Christmas music or actually find Christmas thing. Just because it's Christmas, you don't get Christmas themed things for Christmas gifts except for people that you don't know. That's the only time you do that. Uh, sorry, it's just, it's kind of bugging me. If you see any instances of Christmas creep, let me know here on the blog and we will spread the word. In the meantime, here's some more Gaucho TV. I'm gonna get back in here. All right, so this week I thought I would show off a new product. Unfortunately, I don't have an actual physical version of the product uh, because believe it or not, just getting an email from uh, a guy named Marv who says he'd like to review your product uh, doesn't necessarily make you compelled to send him one. And that's understandable. 
but I heard about this product and I was really fascinated by it. So uh, this kicks off a new segment here on Gaucho TV. We're calling, hey, look at this. And so let's take a look at this. I heard about this from a friend actually, it's called The Peak. And uh, take a look at the website here. It's uh, basically two products. There's Peak Pronto and Peak Classic. Now you're looking at it and you're saying, wow, that looks like a really wide Blackberry phone, right? Well, it's not a phone at all, actually. What it is, is a messaging device for adults uh, that is not a phone. It is an email and text messaging device. And you're saying, wait, what? Why would I want something that just emails and texts? Well, let's say you don't like talking on the phone, or let's say you don't want a smartphone so you don't have texting capabilities. Let's say you have a jitterbug, or let's say you just don't want to have a phone. They do have a place on their website where you can look for a local retailer so you can touch one first and get a sense for it. I just checked my area and within 10 miles of my house, they're both available at Blockbusters. Blockbuster. Uh, they also say they're available at some Radio Shacks, but apparently none of the Radio Shacks near me, but at the Blockbuster. Blockbuster, the video place? Blockbuster. Blockbuster. I did not know Blockbuster sold mobile devices. I also did not know Blockbuster was still in business. You can refer to my Netflix and TiVo episode of Gaucho TV for why I do not know that Blockbuster is still in business. I'm kind of amazed, actually. All right, Gauchos, quick update on the losing weight for less. Uh, as promised last week, I was going to give a cost per pound for how much weight I've lost so far. Been two weeks, uh, had kind of a rough week this week, did not go to the gym as much as I would have liked, did not do cardio as much as I would have liked, uh, just been busy. Uh, and so that kind of cost me. I'm only down three pounds total, so I was only down about mm, two pounds last week. So I've lost three pounds in two weeks. Not great, but workable, and probably a healthy amount to lose. To kind of aid in the weight loss, I've been taking Xantrex 3. Xantrax 3? Xantrex 3. It's got an E. Anyway, it's the one you used to see on those late night TV commercials with the uh, stock photography of the ballroom dancers. Yeah. Anyway, uh, so those are about 20 bucks for 30 pills, coming out to about 66 cents a pill. Now the gym, average gym membership is going to be about 30 bucks a month, give or take, but uh, just a regular gym. If you're paying more than that, you're probably getting... Uh, you know, you're either at a really nice, like a lifetime fitness where it's more like a club, but at just a regular gym, like a Gold's or a Prairie Life or whatever, it's going to be around 30 bucks a month. You should be able to negotiate to that. So that's a dollar a day, give or take. So, so far I've spent $23.33 if you count two weeks of gym membership and three pills a day of Xantrex 3 at 66 cents a pill. That comes out to $7.78 per pound I've lost. Now, that's not great, but when I've gotten up to, if I'm working that ratio, that should go down while the amount of weight loss goes up, if I'm doing this correctly. Uh, if you have any other ideas, uh, stuff about Christmas creep or uh, new products you think I should review, put them here on the blog. Otherwise, I'll see you next time right here on Gaucho TV. Mm -hmm.